Hello everybody, Patrick Glenn Nichols, Muscle Car Barn Finds, and I'm out here in central Illinois, and I stumbled across a couple really nice Super Sport Chevelles, both of them factory red, which most of my people that know me personally know that red is my favorite color on a muscle car, especially on the 70 Chevelle. It's a really nice 70 Chevelle and 67 Chevelle out here, parked outside here on this person's property. He agreed to let me do a walk around video of these cars. I do the best that I can. Neither doors will open and neither trunk. Both of them are froze, rusted and froze. And we don't want to do any damage to the car. So we're going to have to live with just walking around the cars as is. So here we go. Okay, right off the bat, we see this is an early built assembly 70 Chevelle. And that's just based off assuming that those headlight moldings under the, under the headlights are still original to the car, which I believe that they are. And we also see squared off stripes on both sides. So we're in Illinois, so in my opinion, without investigating any further, I'm gonna guess that this is a Kansas City, Missouri 70 Chevelle, cranberry red, appears to be a 75B with a black vinyl top with cowl induction. 756 trim because of the black bucket seats that we see inside I don't think you can see in the interior very well but I can tell you it's an idiot light dash and this door has been changed from looks to be like a green mist code 45 probably Chevelle but that's this door only this is an SS 396 car from what I see we have a 396 emblem on the other side and super sport emblems in the door panels and an early car. So at this point, I'm going with the 396 on this 70 Chevelle. The 67 Chevelle appears to be a super sport car. The hood will not open. It does appear to be correct. A 138 car. SS 396 body style on this car. Bolero red with black bucket seat interior as well. Try to walk through here and make sure there's no copper heads as we go. Give you the best idea that I can of these cars just as they've been sitting here for a long time. These are really cool muscle cars that somebody would like to restore. And the, the owner to this car, or both of these cars, claims that he is going to restore these cars very soon. We shall see. Walk around to the back side of the car. See one of the T3 headlights on this side on the low beam. 96 cross flag on this side. A deep down into the dirt. I don't think you can see with the glare up from the glass, the bucket seats. You cannot, but it is black bucket seat interior, like I said. This appears to be Bolero red upper and lower, no vinyl. SS car. I believe both of these cars have been in Illinois most of their life and been sitting here for quite a while. Here on the 70 Chevelle. We've got the squared off stripes on the back as well. Lots of patina from sitting out here in the woods. And we also have flat lens taillights, which is also an indication of an early built 70 Chevelle. Black vinyl top appears to be original and not added. Hanging out here in the woods. Well, pretty much the woods on the back side of this person's property. Can't go down the driver's side whatsoever. But what I can see, this is an idiot light dash car, black bucket seats, AM radio, cranberry red, black vinyl top, cowl induction, 70 Chevelle SS 396. No determination at this point whether it's an L34 or an L78. There's really nothing that I can see at this point that is going to designate either horsepower there. On the 67 Chevelle, the hood won't raise. The owner 
seems to believe that it's a 325 horsepower 67 Chevelle. Black bucket seat interior. Definitely been out here a long, long time. I know a lot of people would love to have these cars. Super Sport Chevelles are super sought after, especially in a epic color like red. You know, the hottest color. Not very rare, but super popular. Of course, red was always a, a big seller in a performance car. Um, we've definitely got rust on both cars. We've definitely got a lot of tree limbs and debris. Most of my followers will hate that these cars have been treated this way. I didn't do this to them. It's my job to bring this to you. It's my line of work. It's what I do. I can't judge anybody. I can only make suggestions and lend a hand and lend advice. That's what I do and bring these cars to you and sometimes My intention is to show you what not to do sometimes and and make and this individual owns this car admits he wants to get the cars inside so that's the main thing at hand at this point is seeing if these cars can be saved and get to an to an owner that will put the car inside and begin a restoration and get the car back on the road that's what the whole ob object of the game is here Again, I'm Patrick Glenn Nichols, Muscle Car Barn Finds. I'm out here in central Illinois with two really cool red Super Sport Chevelles. If you need assistance authenticating your 70 Chevelle or you have an epic barn find to share, I may be reached at pnichols26 at Yahoo or Patrick Glenn Nichols Muscle Car Barn Finds on Facebook and YouTube. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I do apologize for not being able to open the doors or the hoods to these cars, but they will not open and they will be damaged, and I'm not going to damage these cars just to bring a little more information to the video. We know what we know, and we see what we see. Definitely two Super Sports Chevelles. Again, please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, more videos on the way.